There's plenty of evidence in this book. Now flip back if you would to Isaiah 56 where I had you turn a long time ago. There's plenty of evidence in the scripture that talks about someone being rejected. And it makes sense. I mean, if you think about, we already talked about the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. We didn't turn there. But the Bible says that if someone blasphemes the Holy Ghost, they ask never forgiveness. You can't be forgiven of that. So if you have no forgiveness, then that's someone who's damned. I mean, if someone commits that sin, from that moment, they're rejected. But think about this. That's not the only sin. In Revelation, at the very end of the Bible, the Bible says if anyone adds to or takes away from God's word, he says that I'm going to add the plagues that are written you know, in this book unto him, and I'm going to remove his name out of the book of life. So there's another example of something that someone can do that can cause them to never be able to be saved, to, to, to not have that salvation. Now, I believe that we have eternal life if you put your faith on Jesus Christ. It is eternal. And, I, and we were just talking about this before the service. But I believe that that lasts forever. And I do not believe it's possible for us to lose our salvation. So, in order for the Bible to be reconciled as a whole, when you look at these verses, I believe that it's impossible for someone who is already a believer to, to either blaspheme the Holy Ghost or to take the mark of the beast, because that's the third thing that the Bible mentions specifically, that those that take the mark of the beast, they're going to be cast in a lake of fire. Everyone who takes the mark of the beast and worships his, his name, they're going to be thrown into the lake of fire. So I believe it's impossible for, or for a, a believer to alter and tamper with God's word. I don't believe it's possible. And one scriptural evidence I have for that, I'll just read for you from Matthew chapter 24. It talks about people being deceived by the Antichrist. And in Matthew 24, the Bible says in verse 24, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So the signs and the wonders that these false Christs are going to be showing, he's saying, is going to be amazing. It's going to deceive the whole world. But, and it's so amazing that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. Meaning that it's not possible for the elect to be deceived. To be the, the believers, you know, those that are saved, to be deceived by these false Christs. It won't happen because it's not possible. So there's one example of something that's it's not possible for just as much as not possible for a person to be deceived by an antichrist. That's why it's not going to be possible for them to take the mark of the beast because they're not going to be deceived by it. They're not going to take it.